How's it going, everybody? Rob here, back with another video. Playing some more of Boulder's Gate. The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Yeah. Well, Dribbles is now dead, so. Go ahead and head this way. Great headline. So I need to get in there for one of the, my uh, next missions. Why is it called the flop house? Okay, it's not open. We can bung with ton of a people and pray none of them has sticky fingers. Besides, our pantry is How the heck do we get inside? Fifteen loaves it is. It depends on the person. No shopping for us. And they're very little. Dinner with my parents. Someone who appreciates the finer things. Welcome, sir. Dinner with my parents, remember? Welcome to Danthilon's Dancing Axe. Our stock isn't used. It's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? Uh, 
Jahira sent me um, to meet some hoppers here. Harpers? I am afraid I serve a grubbier class of clientele than that. More chancers than champions, if you take my meaning. Present company excluded, I'm sure. No, I don't know any uh, Jahira, was it? It was, and she certainly knows who you are. I knew it. I knew she wasn't dead. Fine, yes. You have the right place. But where's the leaf flicker herself? That's where, but she trusts me with this. She wouldn't have revealed this place otherwise, which makes you one of the rare breed she does trust. Here's the key. The others are below, and bearing bad news by the looks of it. Thanks. Thank you. Right, Sommy. You're on the door till our friends are done. Gods forbid we do any business today. Jihira. You are very observant. I... I was hoping to greet the High Harper beneath Salona's tears. You have the lad a little nervous. You're the one toppled Ketherick out in the Shadowlands, no? Goeldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Salona's tears as some kind of code. Let's uh, probe, uh, probe her thoughts. Stare at me. Study me. This Harper's face bores me. Perhaps I'll steal yours next. Why is he so afraid of you? Geraldus, you spoiled Orin's surprise. We'll deliver you alive for that. But not you. Actually, you know what? Well, well, look what we have. Here. <laughs>
On the move. Oh, I have some fun. Easy as. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, just sack. Why are they carrying? their loyalty it seems thank thank you no thanks necessary are you hurt I'm alive that's more than the others can say you're you're the one I harbor Jahira sent I am I'm here to help oh thank the gods the first friendly face I've seen in days, old Danthelon included. The others, they're all dead or scattered. Jahira sent word of the victory over Ketherick, set us hunting after the cultists in the city, but they were the ones hunting us. Things were quiet until we started to ask about the Rashimar. The what? Rashimar, a native of Rashaman. The far eastern land known for its wild inhabitants and the witches who rule them. Who is this Rashamar? What does Jahira want with them? I... The High Harper didn't tell you. Uh, perhaps it's not my place. Just... Tell her this. I can't continue the hunt. Whatever the cult has done with the Rashamar. They do not want him found. Okay. Real quick. Oh, action, not reaction.
Oh, that doesn't sound good. went on down there our harpers turned out to be shapeshifter assassins of course of course they bloody did oh, clear out then I'm guessing I have some tidying to do before the steel watch squeals by I've had enough dealings with Harpers to know I don't want the answers. Go on now. Okay. Let's get going. Keep moving. Actually, Gortas invented the steel watch. Leather like. No, he merely wants to see pleasant to me. Like what? I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. Let's just stick to the Fingerprints are all over this city. shifters in the Harpers. My dad always admired their mission, said they gave up their entire lives so we could live safely and ask for nothing in return. We'll rout them, right? For the city and for dad. So curiosity.
Okay. We need to get into that building. We can get in Worms Crossing. Every substance. Yes, darling, it's very leather lock. Oh, man, come on. Let's head to our camp. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need All right. If you have business to conclude before we march, have it done. The road to Baldur's Gate is long, and the city needs us. You're amply reinforced already. I'll let the new blood do all the running around. For now. With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing Axe. We'd do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. 
Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders, as well as give them. Hmm? Don't rush on my account. Your tadpole quivers, revealing your discussion with Mazora to Will. Shit. Father's been taken. And Mazora started to scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Mazora is up to nothing good, for certain. I have no idea. I can't wait to find out tomorrow night, if we're lucky. <laughs> A little too eager for my liking. Well, we'll have answers soon enough. Let's talk to Mazora. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. Could it be true, Duke? Stalemane allied with the Emperor? Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmain allied with a Mind Flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. Do you know Stale, uh, Stalemane? Or did you know Stalemane very well back in the day? I met her twice. The first time I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. If uh, Stelmane was suffering, maybe death was a blessing. Nonsense. Stelmane was no less worthy of life or success because she was disabled. Her death is no blessing. It is a calculated cruelty. Think about it. My father was tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Okay.
soldier. I like how I'm gonna have you stay in the camp for Sounds now. Sounds boring. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. I'm gonna have her come with me. If you have business to cut the road to Bald in the city needs us. By your command. With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. There's a Harper safe house. Beyond that? Actually. Ah, oh, I've had a lifetime's feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. As do I, but we agreed to deal with Orn first. We need all three stones to command the brain. It matters little in what order we obtain them, or how. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. And what do you think of his warning of a doppelganger in our camp? It would be irritatingly true to form, would it not? Mm. A harper learns to doubt, to peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? Tell her what happened at the Harper safe house. Lauren knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach. Separates us from our pack. Until we know who the false facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. So what's next? Oh, actually, who is this... Rashamar who uh, you had your Harper's searching for. A shame of mine. Redoubled because I did not tell you everything sooner. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mintz of Rashomon? The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles who saved the city more than once. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We've fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. What happened? Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us or leave him. And live to fight another day. And here you are. You made the right choice. Alright, that's a cruel choice to, uh, to have to make. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Okay. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. 
Then let's find him. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? <laughs> Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. This ought to be good. Oh, dang. Oh gosh. All right, let's see what she wants. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hells. Just, what are you up to? I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Your parasite links with wills, and your memories flow into him. He sees his father's flight from Worm's Rock, and hears Mizora's words to you. Shit. Where did Gortash send my father? How do I save him? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your 
contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What are you proposing? A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Oh my gosh. What an asshole! Mizora, you asshole! Choose. Oh, this is so screwed. What will happen to Will's power if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. What to do? Damned wretch. Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. You had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> oh, crap. I can't believe Will's given up his soul to Zariel. For a father he fell out with ages ago. There's such a thing as being too good. Someone ought to tell Will Ravenguard.
gods. I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. You're your own man now, Will. Better that way. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The Blade will be guiding his own hand. But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. The Raven Guard name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Your father's not dead yet, Well, Maybe there's another way to save I him. I signed his life away before the Hell's witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. So what's our next step then? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. As for you... Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. That's it then. Duke Ravenguard's dead? Well, not exactly. But it's only a matter of time. Don't be too hard on Will. I'm sure he carefully weighed the pros and cons. Pro, freedom. No more pact, no more hellbound soul. Con, killing off his own father. Baldur's Gate's most beloved Duke, and forever altering the city's future. I would have done the same thing in his shoes. <laughs> but what do I know about heroes? If Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. You left Carlac alone. Didn't you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found a new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. What can you tell me about the hells? The nine hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it. The delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. You never told me how the Absolutists captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, 
kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. If you're going to stay, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. <sighs> Will sacrificed his own father. I hope freedom from the pact is worth it to him. You mentioned Shar uh, Shar followers might be watching us. You think we can use them to track down your parents? I hope so. So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. What are we looking for? Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Okay. up his father to have freedom hmm. an understandable decision sacrifices must be made after all especially if the old duke's fall means his rise I think I'm gonna change up my party for a bit. Well, obviously I would, but you have so many followers already. I wouldn't want to crowd you. Well, in that case, I'm all yours. We do need to level him up as well. Um. Well, I'm gonna have you replace. Well met. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. I like how you think. We're gonna change it up a little bit. Don't touch me. Careful, I mind. That would prove useful.
please, don't look at me. Okay. We got our party set up and ready to go. Thing. I think this would be a good spot to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys can, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novakis signing off. Have a good one. Take care, and I'll see you guys next video. Yeah.